Hi everyone, this is Dr. Russo. Let's discuss if supplementing with vitamin D can decrease the incidence or your chances of cancer or cardiovascular disease. Now, we've all probably heard something about the health benefits of vitamin D supplementation, and there is evidence to support, yes, that supplementing with vitamin D can improve your health. However, it does appear that the health benefits of vitamin D supplementation have been over-exaggerated, and this study actually helps kind of reinforce that conclusion, which is essentially that vitamin D supplementation may not lead to all the benefits that you've been told that it will. Now, I'll put this study up here on the screen. This is a large study entitled Vitamin D Supplementation and Prevention of Cancer and Cardiovascular Disease. They tracked over 25,000 patients for a number of years looking at the incidence of cancers and cardiovascular disease over time in those supplementing with vitamin D compared to placebo. So this is a placebo-controlled trial. People were randomly assigned to either take vitamin D supplementation and tract or placebo and tract. So this is very high-quality data. It's not your, your typical kind of association or observational data, which we see in much of the vitamin D research. And their conclusion, to quote, supplementation with vitamin D did not result in a lower incidence of invasive cancer or cardiovascular events than placebo. So in summary, vitamin D supplementation does not appear to decrease cancers or cardiovascular disease. However, there is one important clarification I should make here, which is sun exposure has been very uh, tightly or somewhat tightly correlated with reducing both cancers, most types of cancers, and cardiovascular disease. So sun exposure may vector the benefit that vitamin D has been purported to garner. So if you're trying to optimize your health, if you're trying to reduce or mitigate the risk of cardiovascular and or cancer uh, incidents, then maintaining a healthy level of sun exposure is an excellent practice toward that endpoint. And I'll link here to a, a couple interviews we've conducted with vitamin D researchers that also provides guidelines. But essentially, getting into the sun for at least 15 minutes a few days a week without protection is a great place to start. So two to three days per week, at least 15 minutes, middle of the day, direct sun exposure, no sunblock, exposing as much of your body as you can. The darker your skin is, the more exposure you may need. So that 15 minutes, that 10 to 15 minutes may need to be more uh, from anywhere from perhaps 15 to 25 minutes. Uh, however, it's, it's certainly something that has been shown to have a, a number of health benefits, that is sun exposure. And if you're looking for more specific dosing guidelines in my book, Healthy Gut, Healthy You, I lay out very specific guidelines depending on if you're vitamin D sufficient or vitamin D insufficient, meaning if you've had a blood test and your levels are low compared to normal, how much vitamin D you need to maintain the normal or to bring the low up into the normal range. So in summary, vitamin D supplementation, at least to what I feel to be the best study to date, does not prevent cancer and cardiovascular disease. That's with supplementation. However, there is an impressive amount of literature showing that regular, safe sun exposure, not burning, but getting regular sun exposure, does protect you against multiple forms of cancers and cardiovascular disease. So this is Dr. Ruscio, and I hope this information helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks.